These are the goggles too. Not the goggles V2 that you get with the FPV, but the goggles too that are a newer version. They're like the Integra, but these ones are better in my opinion for a few reasons, which I won't go into right at this moment. I'll maybe talk about it later. They come with the Motion Controller 2, the MC2, which is an advanced version of the MC, which also has a reverse, allowing the drone to fly backwards. And that's all very good and well. But what if you want to fly your drone not with the Motion Controller, but with a controller with the thumbsticks? You're not supposed to be able to do that using these goggles. But I'm going to show you today how you can fly a drone. And I'm going to be using the Mavic, the DJI Mavic 3 today. It also works with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. And I believe it works with the DJI FPV. But that will be tested in another video. Today I'm going to be testing the DJI Mavic 3. The goggles 2. Using a controller to fly. There's a particular setup and an order, a procedure that you have to go through to make these all work in sync. So here is that procedure. Okay, the procedure for this is a bit convoluted and it's not particularly intuitive. But the way it works is, if you follow these steps in this order, you'll be able to fly your drone. It's not just the, the Mini 3 Pro or the Mavic 3, there's a lot of drones that you can fly using this method and, and I'll list them all at the end of the video. But, but it, anyway, to, to be able to do this, the first thing you do, the first step is power up the drone. Okay, so this is the Mini 3 Pro that I'm going to be using with this one today. Step two is to power on your goggles. Step three... Inside the goggles, go to the sidebar, into status, up to switch, and select the drone that you want. In this case, I'm going to be selecting the DJI Mini 3 Pro. It will take a few seconds to switch if you have been using a different drone that you're, you're, you're now about to use. But it will switch successfully. And then you can now see, and I can see in my goggles view, I can see through the camera of the drone. Step four, if you are, can't get the connection, just hold down the pair button, which is in here in the center of the goggles, and then hold down the power button on the drone, to allow the two of them to pair, okay? The goggles are now paired with the drone. Here's where it because it takes a bit of a strange turn. Power the goggles off. Power the controller on. Now, what we an, uh, an RC2 or this is the RC Pro that I happen to be using. But if you have an RC, RC2, it will work. I'm not sure if it will work with the, the RC or the, the the one without the screen. Uh, so once you've done that, you bring up your DJI Fly Mode. If you've been using a, a different drone, you'll need to repair the drone you're about to use. But what you would do now is you would power up, start, start the rotors and take the drone off. Now it doesn't have to go far, just a few feet drifting a bit there. Once you've done that, turn your goggles back on. The screen on the screen on the controller will go blank, and you'll now get the screen from your camera, and you can control the drone using the sticks. And that is as simple as that. 
If you then went to the turn the screen to the controller, just turn off your goggles, pull them down, and your screen will come back. And that's how it's done. Here's a list of the DJI drones that you can currently use this method to fly using a controller with the sticks and the Goggles 2 or the Goggles Integra. So give us a wee thumbs up and cheerio the now.